Molly. Molly. God, please let her be okay. How is she? She's stable. Molly had a seizure. Uh, it's under control now, but we're doing scans to make sure that there's nothing serious going on. When will we know for sure? Well, the scans will tell us if anything new is happening. As for her comatose state, well, we just have to wait and see. So, so what does that mean? Will she come back to us? Well, anything is possible, but uh, it's hardly likely. If she, um, when she comes back, will she be the same? Well... I hope there are no long-term complications, but I really don't yeah, know. Wait I... and see. Can we go back in? Of course. <sighs> Holly, I'm so scared. Just please keep fighting, okay? Don't give up. Don't ever, don't ever give up. No, Abigail. Molly can't fight back. She'll do it for you. the news about the real stalker. Yeah. I'm glad for you. You know, I never once thought that you were harassing Katie. I know you didn't. And thanks for sending Jen by the jail. It's... I thought you needed to know where I stood. Well, it meant a lot that you believed in me. So, uh, how was, how was Paris? It was fine. We went to a lot of museums, took long walks. That's great. Did you, uh, tell your folks about, uh, us? No. I thought they would have made me want to stay with them. So I thought it was better if they didn't know. I had to come back for Molly. Yeah, yeah, well, it's... It's good you're here. Thanks for telling Jake to visit her. Yeah, well, I mean, it kills me to see her like this. It kills me even more that... The whole thing started because of these photos. It wasn't the photos, Chris. It was us and the choices that we made. Yeah. No, it was, uh... It was me. And the choices I made. I just, I just wish there was a way I could go back, you know, and, and do, it all, do it all right again. It can't happen. You, uh, came for Molly. I'll come back later. I don't know, they said it was some kind of brain surge. Well, how bad is that for Molly? I don't know, just, just something that happens. Listen, Jake, I want to call off the investigation. What? What are you saying? You're just gonna let Katie get away with this? Katie didn't make me get together with Molly. She didn't force me to lie to Abigail about this stuff. What are you, what are you talking about? She blew this whole thing up in your face. Look who's standing. <sighs> most, most people, kid, most people would rip her jugular out and beat her to oh, death with it. Believe me, when I was in jail, that's what I wanted to do. But now, what good can come from it? Molly's not going to come out of the coma. It's not going to fix things with Abigail. It would give you some satisfaction. Yeah, for like five minutes. Listen, Holden already apologized, Jake. My parents are in my corner. I don't need revenge. You're growing up. And when and if Molly ever wakes up from this, she can go after Katie if she wants to. I'll tell you what, I want ringside seats at that cat fight. Yeah. Hey, Molly, you ever decide to, to declare open season on blonde backstabbers? My money's on you. Hey, Molly. I got some good news. 
Abigail's home. She's gonna be looking out for you now, so, uh, so hang in there, Molly. Keep fighting, all right? I'm uh, not gonna be able to come around anymore because, well, Abigail's gonna have you covered, but I'm gonna be thinking about you and I'm gonna keep you in my prayers. All right, so, so come out of this, okay? We miss you. Abigail, hey, uh, I want to... No, please. Come on, you got to hear me out. Remember? Remember when I told you that I had that dream? And that when you got into the taxi cab, it, it came true? Yeah, I remember. And it did. At least I thought it, it did. It, it did, and that's why I had to keep... What happened with Molly and me in this weird, sealed-off place in my mind? It, it's like I would go days and I would not even remember that it happened. It was because I wanted to protect you. I wanted to protect you from the truth. I wanted to protect what we had. I would have done anything to keep our dream alive, Abigail. That's why I followed you to New York. And you wanted me to... to cut it off, and to let you go, and I, and I couldn't. But the thing is... is now I... I think I can. And that's the least I can do, right? You still want that, right? Say goodbye and mean it. I thought that when this happened, I'd feel free. How do you feel? There's a weight in my chest. I'll never love anyone the way that I loved you, Christopher. It's really over. I mean, we broke up ages ago, but he just said that he can really walk away now. that I've never felt before. I thought maybe that you could help me take a little bit of that emptiness away. I need another chance, Molly. I need another chance to get to know you, to take back the hateful things that I said to you. I'll be a better daughter. I promise. And I'll do whatever I can to make things work. I need you, Molly. I need you to be my mother. Molly!